I need to get two Sloppy Joe sliders. The uh, corn dog niblets and then the uh, macaroni and cheese thing. And that would be it. I'm at White Castle in London, Kentucky. I've been driving for about five hours now. I wanted to stop over here at the southernmost White Castle on my trip and try out their new Sloppy Joe sliders. So here's our White Castle Sloppy Joe. And for some reason, they put cheese in it. And I'm not really sure what the slice of cheese is about. I've never had Sloppy Joes where you put cheese in them. Maybe some of you all out there can correct me on that. But let's take a quick look at it. Hopefully you can see them. Let's take a look over here. This is what it looks like. And this is what it is supposed to look like. And let's move on quickly to the Joe bite test. I don't know what kind of sloppy Joe mix they're using. There is a little bit of bite to the sloppy Joe mix. We're actually getting some soak through on the bread already. I don't really think the cheese adds anything to the flavor. And I'm not really too crazy about the sloppy Joe mix because it has a little bit of a bite to it. A little drink of Diet Coke to clear my mouth out a little bit. Although the bread is hot, it's, all, it's obviously not cooked with the meat like a, a White Castle is. That's White Castle claim to fame. Actually, I was pretty skeptical about it uh, before I stopped and got it. I'm gonna say it's actually not as bad as I thought. I don't really like the taste of the Sloppy Joe. It's a little peppery, and I would have liked it had it a little bit more tomato-y. Um, it is not as tomato-y as it could be. We're gonna give this a, um, a 6.8 on a one to 10. Y'all know my scale. Number one is cat food. Uh, anything above number nine is a once in a lifetime experience. And uh, we're gonna move on to the rest of our review. For two bucks, you get a little package of five of the macaroni and cheese uh, tots. They're deep fried. This is what they look like. And this is what they should look like. Let's give them a little taste test. Mm. They cooked them fresh. They definitely got macaroni and cheese in them. You can see them right there. Macaroni and cheese hanging out of them. Mm. Burning my mouth. They could be a little more salty. The cheese is a little bit too mild in my opinion. It should have been more sharp cheese. $1.99, maybe a little bit high priced on them. But for today, we're gonna give the macaroni and cheese niblets, that's what they call them, the macaroni and cheese niblets are gonna give us a score of 7.2. They're actually not that bad. They're cooked fresh, cooked to order. I had to wait a couple minutes for them, so we're good with that. Mm. The next thing we have is the corn dog nipples. This is what they look like. I've not eaten any of them. And this is what they should look like. Let's go ahead and give them a Joe bite test. As you can see, they got a little bit of hot dog in them, a little bit of breading. The hot dog's meat is a little bit too sweet for me. Again, not seasoned well enough. Needs a little more salt in the batter. We're going to give this a 4.1. Not really that great, but they are cooked to order. And if you like corn dogs, you can probably forgive almost anything. Actually, the weather is closing in on me. I'm actually kind of concerned about uh, getting out of here for the interstate starts getting bad. So if you found this interesting, subscribe to the channel, support the channel. I need the subscriptions and we will see you in the next video. I need a number one meal with no. Diet Coke. We are in the middle of a snowstorm. It is 23 degrees. It's not a pleasant drive.